Tuna Jockey for Lux Shanghai. And this month we are going to be discovering what is hot and new in luxury lifestyle, including interviewing Pearl Lam, one of Shanghai's most influential figures in the art world. Interviewing Alan Hepburn, the managing director of Three on the Bunch. Attending Martin Barz's art exhibition, as well as learning how to make a cocktail at the JG Bar. I hope you enjoy the show. Hi, welcome to Lux Shanghai. And today we're with Alan Hepburn, the managing director of Three on the Bun. Thank you very much for joining us. I'd just like to ask you, what is the history of the building itself? Yeah, the, the building itself was, was built in 1916, at a time when Shanghai was really the, the happening capital of Asia. It's a really interesting project and, and you've used the building amazingly well. Can you please give us some information about the Bund itself? Well, the Bund really was the heart of Shanghai in the past and it's becoming the heart again. There are more and more things happening here. We're just one of a number of exciting concepts. In your opinion, what makes Shanghai special, especially in terms of luxury lifestyle? It's a very international city. It's Chinese, but it has a very international approach. And people from all over the world are coming to live here and to visit. So there really is a great vibe. There's a very positive energy to the city. What is the concept behind Three on the Bun? It's really a convergence, um, a convergence of all that's best in contemporary lifestyle. We cover food and beverage, art and culture, wellness and fashion. So please come and have a look. In your view, where do you think luxury lifestyle is developing in Shanghai? Well, I think it's still early days, but it's moving very quickly. Uh, customers are a lot more sophisticated, and they certainly know what they want when they come to Three on the Bund. So one last question. What's the future for Three on the Bund? China's a country where people think big. Uh, there's nothing small. So we're all looking at possibilities to expand, and uh, that's very much on the horizon. Good luck, and thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, we're in Shanghai today with Pearl Lam. Thank you very much for talking to, with us today. You travel around constantly to Paris, London, New York. What do you think makes Shanghai special and why do you choose to spend a large amount of your time here? I think Shanghai is very special because truly here is a melting pot of culture. Absolutely. Um, historically, I think it's, it was in 1848, it was still a fishing village until it became a French, you know, a French colony or French concession. And then by 1910, 1920s, all different nationalities, they were all living here. You know, Beijing loved to jeer at Shanghai and saying that Shanghai is the immigrant culture. Mm -hmm. um, I think Shanghai is a melting culture and, and is more open-minded in many ways. And in art, I think we need to have that acceptance of differences. To be modern is to be open-minded mm -hmm. and to be able to accept contradictions, mm -hmm. differences, and contrast, and I think here we are able to do that. If we truly want China to be one of the most important place, we can't have judgments. We have to have Absolutely. be open-minded. Do you think that Shanghai is missing anything, or do you think that we can improve in some way? I think Shanghai needs time to be sophisticated. Yeah. All right. I mean, people here. I mean, they learn very fast. I mean, compared to the sophistication, and of course, you cannot even compare it to Hong Kong. Absolutely. But, I, but however, by and large, it is a wonderful city to live in. Absolutely. I love living here, and I think the people are learning very, very quickly, and I, it, the sophistication is growing. I amazingly. think the people are very interesting here because, I mean, they like accepting new things. They want, yeah. always want to have something yeah. new. And that is wonderful. Many cities say they like changes. Yeah. Actually, everybody is afraid of. And of, and of changes. Is that one of the reasons why you decided to have your art gallery here? I have been in and out of the city because of my parents' projects since 93. Of course then, when I decided I want to do something, it will be here rather than, and rather than Beijing. When we go to Europe, America, or even Hong Kong, there are already rules and regulations. Yeah. And there is something that you behave and something you don't. But here, because no one knows knows you what create it actually. You've because got the no one knows to knows what is yeah. right and wrong. Yeah. No one knows <laughs> what it, what is this beautiful or ugly. <laughs> and people doesn't even have the confidence to judge. And I think this, this is great. China, by and large, is quite a special country today because you have young people, really young people, taking very responsible role. People who just have a year of experience, two years of experience. It's, it's taking such responsible jobs that in any cities, 
It wouldn't happen. No way. No, no way. Absolutely no way. It really is one of the most dynamic cities in the world. Thank you very Thank much you. for talking Thank to you, us Virginia. and we'll see you later at the party. So we're here with Martin Baz. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you for having us. And could you please tell us something about the inspiration from, for your pieces here today? Contrast Gallery has asked me to be inspired by uh -huh. Shanghai and what I see there is a lot of contradictions, a Absolutely. lot of energy, a lot of um, things which are strange, which are not really what you think they are, and it's a kind of a chemical reaction of all those things together. Fabulous. Can you tell us about some of your pieces? The concept of, of burning pieces of furniture is a concept which I developed a couple of years ago. I really like the transformation of the recognizable piece which, which turns into a charcoal, charcoal version of yeah. itself. This is based on a series called Sculpt. It's a very Chinese instrument and a very Western instrument together. Is this talking about the contrast between East and West in Shanghai, for example? That contrast goes through through the most of my uh, designs for this exhibition. Uh -huh. And I chose two uh, musical instruments because what I like about music and miss in design is, is that music is always a little bit playfully. Brilliant. And what about this piece? All designers are striving for the perfect piece of furniture, so everything is symmetrical and everything. And ergonomically designed. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And when I look in the streets of Shanghai, uh -huh. I see so many beautiful chairs. I think like, hey <laughs> man, this is, <laughs> this is much nicer than, than any designer ever could design. Yeah. I wanted to copy exactly that chair. Also there is that contradiction in it, like is it yeah, old or new? Really exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How many times did you come to Shanghai to get inspiration for your art? I went five times. Uh -huh. Meanwhile, I was working on those pieces. I got the inspiration. I, I work always very intuitively, like seeing the pieces in the street, going to the, to the wood carvers. It, it's always in one, one flow. And what would you say that your overall impression of Shanghai is? Tom? You can't really put one label on it. Everything can happen here. Thank you very much for talking with us today and I wish you all the best in your um, exhibition in Shanghai and take care. Okay, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> cheers. Okay, cheers. <laughs>
And now we're with Rodrigo Maza, who's the bar manager, and he's going to explain to us what makes John George Bar so special. Well, first of all, the beautiful atmosphere, the wonderful cocktails, and the best service in Shanghai, as you can see. Fabulous. And what sort of um, clientele do you have at John George? Well, the clientele is a little bit of a mixture. We have a lot of uh, Chinese people. We have a lot of businessmen and a jungle of entrepreneurs that come to have a wonderful drinks. Oh, it's de definitely delicious. And what is this um, pizza that you have here? Oh, that's the best pizza in Shanghai. It's uh, made of uh, truffles and fountain cheese. Please try it. Mm. Oh my God, it's delicious. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Well, we've definitely had a fabulous time here drinking the fabulous Hendrix Cool Cocktail and enjoying the Fontaine Pizza. Thank you very much and I look forward to having many a late nights with you here. It would be a pleasure to have you here again. See you soon. Thank you, Rodrigo. Cheers. Thanks for watching and I hope you've enjoyed the show and I look forward to seeing you next time on Lux Shanghai.